get the maidens ready, get all the cars ready. We're leaving five. Yes, my friends. Thank you so much for coming out. <sighs> you know you're not my sister, right? Yes. Well, you don't need to thank me yet. What you have to do is to do whatever it takes to win Prince Donald's love back. I cannot have that smelling nose as co wife. I can't stand her. But I don't know. He just doesn't want to see me. I've, I've tried. He doesn't want me anymore. I know where the girl stays. Yes, let's pay her a visit. Tell her to. Just offer her money. Tell her to leave your man alone. Else you run her over. Just threaten her. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Should we go now? Bones. Knock knock. Knock knock. Is anybody at home? Is it true? Talk to me. Tell me it's not true. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Tony. No, oh, Papa. Papa, I'm not fine. I don't think I am fine. What? What? Papa, I don't understand why she will accept to marry Prince Donald after everything I've done to make her happy. Oh, that. Tony, there's no Prince Donald anywhere. Thank you, Papa. What you heard was a lie. It is you I know, and it is you that must marry her. Papa, I don't understand you. You really don't have to understand. This is the only man I know, and he's going to be your husband. Yes. young ladies. Are you the opportunist or should I say the chancer that wants to steal my man from me? Excuse me. Do I know you? Oh, I remember you. You came with Prince Donald the other time. I'm glad you have a good sense of recognition. Um, whatever your name is, I, I am not here for formalities. I'm begging you to leave Donald for me. Else, I don't want to hurt your parents. Hey, 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 watch your words, kid. Huh? I will not be here while you talk down on their parents. Oh, shut up! Shut up your mouth! If you don't have 50 million around your account, don't talk to me! Shut up! Zip it. Oh. So do you think everything is about money? Huh? That you're here bragging? Face bush. <laughs> My sister, 500,000 naira leave Prince Donald for me. 100 million naira. If you can raise 100 million naira, I'll let you have him for good. Where are you? A thief? No, she is a greedy bitch. Have you ever made 100 million naira in your entire life? Even if I sell this whole compound, oh, can you produce it? It's not possible. Uh, my, my daughter, don't listen to her. Make it 1 million. Then you can go with the prince. Papa? I am not taking anything less than 100 million euro. And that has to be in cash. Except you are the one who's going to step down for her. So if you do not have 100 million euro, bring your shoulders down. Because looking at you with your broken nails and your flying lashes, you both do not have up to that amount. You know what it makes you? It makes you poor in currency. Not just poor in currency, but also poor at heart and character. You listen to this thing. Oh. Oh, 
simple sweetheart. She came to offer me 500,000 Naira to leave you. What a poor mindset she must have. No wonder she missed you. Stella. Hmm? Jane. Leave here at once and never ever step your feet here again. How are you doing? Fine. <laughs> yeah, you look very fine, my love. <laughs> Thank you. Mazindeo. How are you? God. You look very Young lady, it was you who saved my son's life, right? Yes, Your Majesty. My dear, you don't know how much what you did means to me. Thank you for saving my son's life. You're welcome, Your Highness. Dad? Yes. <clears throat> Mom, I also want to use this... Um, opportunity to um, to let you know that I will be getting married to Ngechi. Great! 
This is good. Yes, she's beautiful. She's intelligent. And above all, she has a large heart. And she'll make a good wife too. Just hold it. Let me pretend that I didn't hear what I heard here. Some. An important issue of this nature ought to have been discussed with me. And you know that. You're right, my husband. Pretty girl. Go with a large heart. <laughs> Tell me, what's your name, man? Tell me, I mean, your which family do you come from? Your Majesty. Yes. My name is Nkechi Okafo. I am from this kingdom, Amaru clan. Are you from Oka from Badi's family? Yes, Your Majesty. I see. Oka from Badi is actually your great grandfather, right? Correct, mm -hmm. Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Ah. Son. Yes, sir. I'm afraid this marriage will not hold. This girl's family is an enemy to the throne. Right from time. Yes. Right now, I want this girl out of this place. Darling. Um, 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 Father, I think you should just come down. Let's, let's when... You never tell me to come down, I will draw out your tongue and slash it into bits. And still stuff it down your throat. And I said, I want this girl out of this place. I want this girl out of this place. Out! Take this girl out of this place. My husband. Did you hear me? This girl out of this place. Darling. I want her out. Final! Final! What did I do? I'm very confused. How did I wrong the king? You did not do anything, my love. Okay? I've got your back. You are not leaving this place. Alright? I would not stop loving you. No one would make me stop loving you. Go so now. Um, I don't know what you did, but please, son. Take her out of this place so that your father don't hurt her. She is not leaving this place. Nobody should push it. Okay? What is this girl still doing here? What are you still doing here? I said, out! Girls! Your eyes. Come on! Why no her out? No one touches her! I brought her to this palace and I would take her out of this palace in one piece. You are daring me, son. I am not daring you, father. But I need to understand what she did. You are daring me. Turn out. One more step. One more step. I promise you, you will regret ever. Having been born into this past. 
turn out. Please listen to your father, okay? Don't go. Going to on this hill. Oh, uh, my name is Timothy. What's your name? Hello, that's I said my name is Timothy. What's your name? I am not in the mood to talk to strangers. Uh, please, please. No, no, excuse me. Are you mad or something? I said, leave me alone. You slapped me. You just effed up behind you. Hear from me. Hey, Nai, you mean the prince came here and took our daughter with him? Yes. Yes. Hey, you needed to see our daughter looking so beautiful and radiant. You know, I I hate uh, the royal family. In fact, I grew up learning to hate them. But with what I saw today, I think I'm reconsidering my earlier stance on our daughter marrying from the royal family. Is that so? Well, my husband, since you are the one saying this, I think it is good for her and to us, her parents. If I must say the truth, huh? money is good. Money is good. Oh! <laughs> I wish I'm around. Crying, it's okay. Who <laughs> oh, is pursuing you? Who is after you? Huh? What, what happened? <laughs> it's okay. Stop crying now, my daughter. Huh? <laughs> oh, goodness. What is all this? Huh? Did you talk to me? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What happened? Papa, what history do you have with the king? He threw me out in a very embarrassing manner. The moment he heard I am your daughter. <laughs> so the king asked you to leave his house and you're here crying? Huh? Is the palace your house? The wisest thing to have done was for you to walk away with your dignity and not let him repeat himself to send you out. Nah, is this all you have to say? Yes. What right has she to be angry when that place is not her house? It's okay. Stop crying. Go. Stop crying. Stop wetting your beautiful face with tears. Stop. It's okay. Mama. My dear. 
Why is Papa always cold towards me? Why? Don't mind your father, please. Stop. <laughs> please. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop wetting your beautiful face with tears, please. Please, my daughter, please. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be fine. Father, I demand an explanation for the embarrassment you gave my guest today. Well, as your father, I owe you none. As your son, I demand one. What's going on here? Is this the appreciation you wanted to show to a girl who saved the life? of the crown prince of this kingdom, the heir apparent to this throne. Is this what you do to her? Is this how to treat her? This girl stood and gave her life for me when nobody else was willing to do so. Not even you or my mother was willing to lay their life for me. And you tell me that I do not have any right to do what I want to do? Is this how this family shows appreciation? Go and clap for your son. He is performing. Are you finished? Well, you can go ahead and take it any way you want to take it. That girl did what she did for you from a dead long old. Yes. She understood it and she has gotten on with her life. Go on and get on with your own life. Come on. A young man like you ought to sail with the wind. Yes. You have to learn to sail with the wind. The girl has got her, gotten on with her life. Yes. Get on with your own life. Get on with it. Live it. Live your life. Father, I am so disappointed in you. Mother, so you're going to sit there? and let my father do this? Where is your conscience? Where is your conscience? Father, where is your conscience? Just so you know, I do not have any life to live that Inkechi did not make you possible. So I will not live this life without her in my life. So you should know also. I am telling you not just as your father. I am commanding you as your king. Have you ever commanded any of your subjects not to get married to his choice of a life partner? Have you? No, you haven't. No, you haven't. So you do not have any power to command me not to do what I want to do. I have said my peace and I will do as I please. Oh, what? Oh, Mene. Nekona. You don't want to applaud him. A big performer. Okwana. But listen, warn him, warn your son, warn him. Let him not find this ember of hatred that is creeping in this family. Warn him. But darling, you still have not told us what went wrong. 
I mean, you owe us an explanation on what this maiden's family did to you that made you react the way you did today. Yes. Every man. So I'm done with the attack from there. Now it's yours. Ngwa, bako no no, bako da no no. My prince, open the gate. My prince, my prince, the king. He has instructed that we shouldn't let you leave the palace for any reason. And I am giving you an order as the crown prince of this kingdom to open these gates and let me pass. Please, I beg you, my prince. Please. We know you to be a very kind person. But please do not allow me to lose my life or my job. The king will not take it lightly if he finds out you're not in the palace. the squabble between the king and Prince Donald. I I heard the king embarrass his guest. The meeting that saved his life. Oh. It's true, I don't know what's going on. I'm totally lost on it. As she stands now, my father doesn't want to hear anything that has to do with a girl. Look, he hated her the moment she mentioned her family's name. Is it not obvious? I mean, the king does not want his hair apparent to be tied down with a free butter. Oh, that I can't tell you. All I know is he doesn't even want to listen to any suggestion or something. Then don't say anything. Please. I mean, let the king be the king. His words are full of wisdom. Please. <laughs>